Good morning and welcome to these last few days of our annual giving campaign. I'm David Michael, the Assistant Treasurer on the Board of Directors. I'll share some thoughts as we close out this pledge campaign. You'll recall the board set this year's pledge goal at $1,030,000 to build a budget that funds our expenses. The good news is that more than a quarter of us, 100 pledgers, have increased our pledges by an average of 19%. Thank you. Unfortunately, however, if our projection holds true, we will be at least $150,000 short of our goal. However, we are not done. The pandemic has revealed in our society systemic injustice, widening economic disparities, and the denigration of fact, science, and truth by those who seek to perpetuate the status quo. The work we do to build a better world is powered by our budget, which comes mostly from our pledges. We are at an inflection point that causes us to ask, what are we called to do in this time? Our vision is to create an inclusive congregation that harnesses everyone's talents to transform ourselves, our community, and the world through acts of love and justice. We are in the process of reimagining how best to bring about social justice and beloved community, and we will continue to build this vision with you. The budget powers this vision by funding our facilities and grounds, our people, and our obligations to the Unitarian Universalist Association. So let's step back for a moment to recall the story of Stone Soup, in which a weary traveler arrives at a village in search of food. Finding none, the traveler finds a pot and stones and tells the villagers that together they will make a stone soup to feed everyone. The bemused villagers come out to observe the traveler's efforts. The traveler lights a fire, adds water to the stones in the pot, and tastes it. All agree the soup needs something more. The traveler asks for salt, for onions, and other vegetables. Intrigued, the villagers volunteer what little they have. In time, their contributions create a flavorful and succulent soup that feeds the village and inspires their imagination. This story of challenge, of vision, and the power of collective effort is interesting because it is both simple and yet uncommon. The lesson of this story is a choice of abundance over scarcity. The abundance mindset holds that there is enough for all if only we can make a leap of faith that transcends our own fears. This leap of faith is especially difficult for those of us who have experienced losses and anxiety about the future, causing us sometimes to hold on to what we have. When it comes time to pledge, all of us can fall into the scarcity mindset. We might ask, what if I'm unable to provide for my own needs? Or I can't contribute enough to make a difference. Or again, if I give enough, or I give enough and others will need to do the rest. While understandable, these messages without more relieve us of our responsibility to tap into what we can do. What if we were to also embrace the messages of an abundance mindset? Messages like, I can provide for my family and support a better world. Or, every dollar I contribute furthers my values and social justice. And also, if we all contribute as we are able, we will move mountains. An abundance mindset moves us to collective action, which can ease our anxiety and bring about the change we seek. When we have faith in ourselves and the values of this community, we can then ask, how much can I afford to give? And what keeps me from doing more? What if we choose to adopt an abundance mindset in an effort to meet our pledge goal? What if, if you have not pledged this year, consider making a commitment to these values we hold dear. If you have already pledged at the same level and are able, please consider increasing your pledge today to build a better future for our children. And if you have already increased your pledge and can do more, 
consider leading the way to a more just and equitable future for ourselves, our community, and our world. It's true that money is critical to support our congregation, yet a mindset of abundance is about far more than money. Abundance empowers us to engage together in the life of this congregation that we hold dear and to accomplish anything that we choose to set our minds to. Given the important work that we have left to do, we must ask, what are we called to do in this time and how can I contribute to it? Thank you.